Good evening from Hanoi and welcome to Vietnam. The country you go to when your visa to Thailand expires. I'm gonna walk around this neighborhood tonight. Check out this artificial lake. There are lakes like these all over Hanoi, just artificial lakes and they're all dirty. They're all nasty for some reason. Anyways, I got a bottle. I got a bottle of Dao Mail. Dao, Dao Mail, Dao Mail. Not sure how to pronounce it. Dao Mail, peach, peach whiskey. Been drink a little bit and just walk around the neighborhood and see what it's like. Let's go. All right, check it out. You can't see it from here, but the space, the space in between the buildings up there, you can literally jump from one building. You can literally jump from one building to another. Look. Ah, Jesus. Almost got hit by a freaking motorcycle. To Vietnam. To Hanoi. To working from home. Blah, 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 blah. All right. There's a trick. There's a trick to drinking booze. It goes like this. You fill your lungs. Fill your lungs with the air as much as you can. Take a shot. Then you slowly exhale. I'm gonna do it one more time. Inhale as much as you can. Take a shot. Alright, we're gonna go that way. You know what? This is a really good place to get robbed. If you wanna get robbed, you can probably come here because everybody here, well, everybody here passing by you on motorcycles, they can snatch something from your hand and just keep going. Anyways, you inhale, you take a shot. Exhale slowly. And that's it. That's how you can drink without really filling the alcohol. There's some trick to it with the oxygen and uh, shit like that. So yeah, let's do it again. Ah. It's actually pretty good. I'm not much of a drinker, but uh, yeah, as far as whiskey goes, Dao meal is pretty good. Wow, look at that big giant pile of garbage. The garbage of Vietnam. More garbage. Hi. Hello. Garbage of Vietnam. Hello. Garbage lady, turn around. She doesn't want to be seen with the likes of me, the likes of uh, strange foreigners drinking on the street. More hot dogs. More hot dogs. More hot dogs. You know, this look walking around like this is, uh, it's not too good. It's not too good. But you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right, let's go. Yeah, look at this. Institute of International Finance Education. Business school. Business school in a communist country. There is a business school in a communist country. Wow, look. More garbage on the street. Motorcycles, motorcycles everywhere. So many motorcycles. So many motorcycles, oh my god. So many motorcycles. La 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 More garbage. You know, garbage is fascinating. I don't know why. I, I'm fascinated by garbage. Ooh, recyclable garbage. Recycling is important. Don't forget that. That was the most voluptuous woman I've ever seen in Vietnam so far. Oh yeah, check it out. The, the little... The little chairs. 
itty bitty chairs in Vietnam. Itty bitty chairs. Oh, there are more small, small chairs, small chairs. Kitty, kitty chairs, kitty chairs. They love, they love the kitty chairs. They love the kitty chairs here in Vietnam. I don't know why. I mean, they're, they're short, but they're not that short. I just don't know why they love the, the, kid, the kitty chairs so much. Oh, 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 check us out. Bonjour, madame. What are you doing? Hello. Hello. So I'm across the road. Crossing the road in Hanoi. What's the deal? with Vietnamese women, not just Vietnamese, just Asian women in general, they love wearing short, short shorts, really short shorts. Ah! They love wearing super short shorts and a long t-shirt to cover it. So it kind of looks like they're not wearing any pants. Check out this tuk-tuk. It looks a little futuristic, a futuristic tuk-tuk. You know what, I'm loving, I'm loving this tuk-tuk. Man, look at that, look at that design, the, 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 the spaceship look, steel, steel, blah, 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 steel ah, I can't talk today. But yeah, look at this tuk-tuk. For a tuk-tuk, it looks pretty futuristic. Look how awesome it is, you know what? I should quit my job. I should quit my job and become a tuk-tuk salesman because I love tuk-tuks. But um, anyways, yeah, we're looking for a place. We're looking for a karaoke place called Fantasy Karaoke. And I don't see any signs that point to it. I saw it, I found, I saw it on Google Maps, but uh, yeah, I can't find it. It's supposed to be right here, but I can't find it. The karaoke fantasy is supposed to be here, 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 here. And I can't seem to find it. What the hell? What the hell is going on? I don't know. Weird, it's really weird. Ah, how do I find this place? How do I find this place? All right, I drank a little bit, not too much. About a third of the bottle. I'm gonna leave it here because between my camera, my phone, and the bottle, I just can't handle. I can't, I can't jiggle, jiggle, juggle all of that at the same time. Is this it? Nope, this is not it. You know what? Uh, freaking. Let's ask people. Let's let it go. Let's let it go of the autism for just one minute and ask people where the karaoke fantasy is kind of sounds naughty doesn't it karaoke fantasy fantasy like what are they fantasizing about just karaoke all right um what should we go what should we go what should we go security guard security girl let's ask him he's a wise man he should know something something right right right, right. hello um do you know this this spot <laughs> Over there. Do do it can do it can do it san do it san. Over there. Da da da. Thank you, thank you. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Is it here? Maybe it's over there. You know what? It might be in this dark, dark alley. Of course it's a dark alley where you can get robbed. Let's see, let's see. Jesus, there's nothing here. This can't be it. No, this can't be it. You know what? It's uh, places like this where you get your uh, kidneys chopped up and sold. Sold in China. So apparently, as I suspected, the karaoke fantasy is closed. Closed permanently. Since it's a Friday night, 
And they don't open, that means that it's shut down permanently. Anyways, there's some more uh, communist propaganda for you. A bunch of Vietnamese people holding notes in the center. Yeah, they're centered around a gentleman in a uh, communist Vietnamese military uniform. Yeah, these uh, murals, these uh, paintings, communist propaganda, posters. Propaganda, communist oh. propaganda is everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Look at that, the hammer and sickle. They love it. They love the hammer and sickle here in Vietnam. They freaking love it. Don't they? Don't they love it? Anyways. Yeah, so that's that's uh, an interesting topic in and of itself. And I'm a moron, so I see a, a sign with uh, pink neon lights, and that's where I go because I'm an idiot. Hello. Hello. Let's see what the sign says. Kong pong. Ping pong? Kong pong. Huh. What is this place? Interesting. Should I be scared? Should I be scared? I don't know. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's walk in and see what it is. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, good morning. Uh, what, what is this place? Good morning. Ah. <laughs> you are. Oh, laundry. Uh, uh, telephone, uh, telephone, iPhone. iPhone. Uh, you, you, you. Oh, never mind. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, the thing is, when you see, when you see, when you see a sign like that with the lights, and you see that kind of entrance, you automatically assume, you know, that uh, this is uh, shady. You know what I mean? Sketchy place, shady. What do they offer? Extra services? No services? All the services? Full body services? You know, I don't know. It's Vietnam. Like you can't really, you can't assume anything. It's just everything here is is is. is it's strange. Everything here is new to me. And here we have the Manmaru Japanese restaurant. That's racist. Look at the picture of that baby. That's racist. That is super racist. Shut it down. Shut it down. Cancel it. Here's a funny story about Vietnam. So in America and Utah, I used to get waxed at this uh, Vietnamese beauty salon. And the lady, there was one lady who, would, uh, who spoke English in the salon. She would wax me every time. And she told me, you should go to Vietnam and find a wife. And I was like, okay, maybe one day I'll do it. And today I'm here in Vietnam. So where do I go next? How do I find a wife in Vietnam? And the answer is, you don't. Because it's a trick. It is a trick. It's a psychological trick that people do everywhere. It's called destination addiction. What that means is that people try to tell people tell you, oh, if you only go to this place, you go to that place, you'll be happy. If you only go to Vietnam, you'll be happy. You only go to this country, you'll be happy. You only go there, you'll you know what I mean? Destination addiction. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Whoop, whoop. You know what I've noticed? That um, the women here, woo, the women, yeah. Um, even the women who work in menial jobs, like like, uh, like garbage, garbage pickup, a lot of them are hot, hot garbage women. Like you never see that in America. You never see an attractive woman in America, working, uh, yeah, picking up garbage. It just doesn't exist. Huh. Look at that, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Committee for Ethnic Affairs. What does that mean? That is racist. 
That is so racist. Oh my God, why are you racist? Why are you ridiculing my culture? Why are you racist? Yeah, I don't, what, you know what? I actually, I actually do want to know what that means. Committee for Ethnic Affairs. Huh. Ethnic Affairs. I mean, like 99% of people in, in Vietnam are ethnic Vietnamese. So like what, um, what ethnic affairs exactly like exist here? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe just me being ignorant. I mean, I'm not an expert, but anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, big buildings, big buildings. Big buildings and uh, we have reached, we have reached an intersection. Intersectionality. Yeah, I think affairs, intersectionality. All right. Vietnam, Vietnam. Let's go. Hello. Hello, hello. Man, I must I must look like a nut job to these people just walking around shouting Vietnam. But uh, perhaps I am a nut job. It is what it is. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Nice gentleman. Nice gentleman in Vietnam. Can I cross? Is it a good idea? You know what? Oh man, crossing the street in Vietnam. Ugh, ugh. Is there a bridge? Pedestrian bridge or something? I don't know. Ah, what a nightmare. What a nightmare crossing the street in Vietnam. Let's, you know what? Let's just go there. Let's walk south. Let's go south and follow. Let's go wherever these uh, people are going. Bongle, bongle, bongle. Bongle from Vietnam. And uh, yeah, there's a big, big, big office building. Bosch, KB Securities, blah, 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 blah. Over there, you got the da Daeha Daeha Business Center. So yeah, this is where the people, this is where the people of hello, the people of Vietnam go to work. The people who make the money, the money, the money. The people who make the monies, the rich people of Vietnam. This is where they go to work. This is where they do the the financing and all the all the capitalist activities here in this communist country. Jesus, man, the, the chicks here are hot. The chicks are freaking hot. There's so many hot chicks here. Holy crap. Holy, holy, holy crap. It's like a pandemic. It's like a pandemic of hot chicks everywhere. Bungla, bungla. All right, where am I going? What is this place? All right, let's check it out. Freaking towels? Selling towels? What is this place? Jesus. Holy crap. Holy crap, the, the, the jugs in that woman. Jesus, Jesus. And for some reason I had this image of uh, Vietnam being a country where you see uh, a, lot, a lot of poor people, you know, a lot of poverty. And uh, that's just not true, it is not true. There are, there are rich people everywhere. There are people, I mean, look at this. Freaking fancy cars, fancy cars, people wearing fancy clothes, people with money, people with money everywhere. So uh, yeah, it's not really, it is not a poor country. And I don't know why people think of it as a poor country. And again, it goes to the fact that you can buy a sandwich for 50 cents. That's really what it's all about. White people think that if you can buy a sandwich for 50 cents, that turns, that makes a country a poor country. That's my opinion. It's very, it's not a very deep analysis, obviously, because I'm not a scientist. I'm not a professor, I'm just a guy with a camera walking around. I gotta say one thing that I've been feeling in Vietnam and in Thailand is that uh, 
a lot of people here people like to dress they like to dress well they like to dress well they like to look good you know they, they love, their hair is like done all nice and crap uh you know they're like super you know there's the, there's a way of a very fancy way about them when they can make it happen and it makes me feel like a barbarian like a savage because at the end of the day I am a savage I am a barbarian and I think that's that's how they perceive me that's that's what they perceive me as as a barbarian as a savage you know that's what I am it is what it is you know I'm a savage I'm a barbarian you know I can I can live I'm an animal basically I'm an animal hello Embassy of Australia. All right, mates, Australia, koalas and whatnot. Hello. Whew. So yeah, I'm a savage. I'm a barbarian. That's what it comes down to. I am a caveman. If I could live out in the wild, wielding a spear, I would do that. But unfortunately, I need credit cards and, and crap to get by. So that's that's what life is going to be like. Wait a minute. Tokyo ladies. What is this place? Hello. Um, what, what is this place? Yeah, this is the whiskey bar. Whiskey bar? Yes, where did you go? You have... Yeah, camera. Hello. Whiskey bar, whiskey yeah, bar. You know, I like whiskey. Whiskey's good. Whiskey good. Whiskey, whiskey good. Whiskey good. All right. Hell yeah, motherfuckers. Okay. Right. Hello. Hello. Wow, I'm the only person here. drinks time to keep going keep going so um yeah that was my first bar experience Vietnamese bar experience here in Hanoi it was all right had a couple drinks with the ladies uh, yeah nothing crazy uh, yeah welcome welcome to Vietnam welcome to Vietnam welcome to Vietnam Oh look, there's another, another magic tuk tuk. Future tuk tuk, futuristic tuk tuk. Look at that shit. All shiny and whatnot. Kind of want to drive it. It's got a little, little communist symbol on it too. Communist futuristic tuk tuk. After spending some time in that bar, I realized uh, the way they approach you, it's not just Vietnam, it's it's Thailand too, it's it's everywhere in Asia. There there is a, there's a lot of fakeness to it, which is expected, obviously. But at some point it really it really hits you. That you're just you're just a tourist with money. That that's all you are. Like there's really not much else going on in their minds other than the fact that you're a tourist with money. That's it. That is it. You got money, they need the money, and they're willing to... They're willing to work for it. They're willing to work hard for it. That's it. That's really all there is to it. And uh, yeah, it's very, it's very fake. And it, it hits, suddenly it hit me really hard that, um, yeah, the whole thing is super fake. Which, you know, I, it's expected. But it sucks. It is what it is. It sucks. It sucks. 
but that's life you know life is not a life is not an easy trip you know it's funny i've seen all these uh youtube comments talk about hanoi don't go alone in hanoi don't go alone at night blah 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 i mean look i've been walking here for i don't know how long at least an hour or two hours and i'm as safe as i can be super safe so yeah there's really yeah there's really no problem there's really nothing going on you can walk here you can do pretty much whatever you want and nobody's going to ask anything nobody's going to approach you look i'm walking like this walking around being loud being an idiot being stupid the camera nothing happens this is another one of those uh, futuristic looking tuk-tuks I freaking love this thing. I love this thing. And look, it's got that uh, freaking... Oh man, the, the communist symbol on it. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 caramba, caramba. You know, I wish I could film more in the bar, but uh, music, yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. You know, music, copywriting. I had to cut it short. Man, look at all these, all these old apartment buildings. Look at those old apartment buildings. I like, can imagine the cost of living there is like a hundred dollars a month, a hundred, two hundred. Can't be, too, can't be too expensive. I don't know why. I'm just fascinated with with stupid things like like apartment buildings, construction sites. It's fascinating to see how people live in different countries. This city is crowded. Like, uh, I don't think people realize it. Vietnam is about the size of uh, California, I think. But it's got, they got more than 100 million people. That's a lot of people, a lot of people. And they really, they don't have that much land to uh, take into account just the amount of uh, people that are living here. It's crazy, man. Everybody's just, so crazy there's people everywhere everywhere and we we uh in america man, i mean utah wyoming I idaho you know the areas that i'm used to there there's nothing there's really nothing there's like three million people in utah barely a million in, in wyoming like a, maybe two in idaho and just so much empty vastness empty land and it's the exact <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> uh, sewage. Sewage. Whew. Man. <coughs> Man. I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about, though? Land? Yeah, land. Land, population, blah, 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 blah. Whew. All right, time to get a taxi. And go somewhere where there's more activity, more people, blah, blah, blah. Be right back. All right. Ciao. Hello. Uh. How's it going? I don't know. I, I don't speak English. No English. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. You speak Chinese? No, no. No Chinese? No. Only, Viet no. only Vietnamese. Vietnamese. All right, so got out of the taxi, and this area is a bit closer to the old city. And man, look at this! Look at these random, teeny tiny alleys. What? Boom boom massage. No 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 boom boom no massage. No no thank you. So yeah, it's getting late, and. Uh, Forgot what this area is called, but yeah, it's where we are. We are next to the old quarter, old uh, French quarter, French town, whatever they call it. And uh, yeah, it's getting empty. People are going home. All right, it's getting late. Everything is closed. Everybody's going home. There's really no point of uh, continuing to walk around the city at this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video next to this very cool piece of communist Vietnamese propaganda. Good night.
Until next time.